All right, we are recording. Hi, everyone. Happy Sunday. Um, I just wanted to, you know, Nicole and I have been talking this week. We kind of stumbled on this video that a friend um, sent me, and she is a senior Ruby, and she said, she goes, this is life changing. And I said, what are you talking about? And she was like, I stumbled on this video and she said, it is literally when I hit diamond, I will, I will come back to this phone call and say, that is, that's, that was the turning point for me. And I was like, well, send me the call. So she sent it over and I watched it and I had a very similar reaction. I, my mind was just blown because it was such a shift in perspective. So I sent it to, to Nicole. I sent it to a few members of my team and I just said, I, I'd like to get your thoughts on this because I, it's really going to take a while for it to sink in because it's a complete 180 of how I've been doing things. Um, and, and mostly it's just the shift from leading with the products um, to leading with the opportunity. And let me preface this by saying, I, this girl is definitely, how many of you guys had a chance to watch it or listen to it? Did you guys all have a chance to, to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I did. It was so good. Okay. So <laughs> Sarah Hagler lovingly said she, she's an effing wizard, which I love because I'm like, that's kind of, I was like, yes, that's exactly what she is. Um, she is, she's just got a very, um, certain type of personality. And I say this in the most loving way because I feel like I'm going to love her to pieces. Um, she's, she's a bossy bitch and in a really loving way. Um, and I'm not that way. And I think the vast majority of us on this team are, are not like people would not describe us that way. So there are parts of, of her system and her approach that I feel like we really are own. And we will have to soften a little bit in order to make it work for us. Because, I mean, she just flat out tells her Aunt Georgia, Aunt Georgia, go find four people to do a Zoom call with me on Thursday. And she says Aunt Georgia feels a little bit weird about it. And she's like, oh, Aunt Georgia, just do it. You know, and I'm like, I I just don't know that I could boss people around like that. But you know, we all know people like that that are able to in a way that you're, they don't get offended and they just do what you say to do. So I do think that there are some – I mean, I definitely want you guys to know that I'm just the messenger on this. I'm going to tell you what – uh, what the call is about and really specifically how sh her system works and she has had incredible results with it and she has a girl on her team named Bridget Ryan who um, went from oh senior or it was a uh, silver or gold all the way to diamond within a year so it obviously works I think each person just has to make it their own. And so I kind of had an attack of conscience um, yesterday morning. I called Nicole and I was like, I'm feeling like this is not the right fit for us. And then I was like, no, I went back to it and I'm like, no, there's so many parts of this that are, will work. And there are the parts of it that, that Nicole and I were both kind of like, mm, we can't do that. Like we just need to tweak it a little bit and make it right for our team. So I don't want you guys to be scared off or intimidated by this. I'm going to tell you what what her system is and then I would love to open it up maybe in a further conversation to get feedback on how can we tweak it okay so are we all like we got this <laughs> we all understand each other okay so her entire thing is give a lot of people a little bit of information instead of and I, I'm, let me preface this again by saying if you have not reached out to the people on your dream team list, that list of 20, that list of 30, that list of five, whatever it is for you, those people that in your life you can't imagine going a step further in this business without, that's a different beast. So what I want you to, to really think about this week is Plexus is growing and it's becoming so huge and it's becoming such a household name and people are it's really blowing up in certain areas i know it is definitely here in kansas city and I, i'm sure in st louis you guys are feeling it too somebody's going to get into your backyard and they're going to get the people that you have in your mind as on maybe your chicken list and they're going to start grabbing them and that's the worst feeling in the world and a lot of us have felt that and i am so glad that and i have gotten several no's this past week of reaching out to people that i've been scared of and but i have put my my heart out there and i have said and you know a more lengthy message why i want them with me and they've said no thank you i'm not interested and yeah it hurts for a second 
back, but I'm like, at least I went there and it, and I, and I've left it with, please promise me that if you do come back this way or you have a change of heart, that you have, you know, a space on my team and that you'll come back to me. So that aside, this is a system that I think is best for the masses. So people you haven't talked to since high school, people you haven't talked to since college, um, people that you've met at the park. Um, you know, this is people that, that don't have that special place in your heart and that you want on your team in the worst way. So this is giving a lot of people a little bit of information, bite-sized pieces so they can um, they can take in without you doing the plexus puke, which we all talk about. Not where to start. I leave with the business. I leave with the products. So I do this. So in mind, what these girls do, what Bridget Ryan, if you're on Instagram, you should follow her because she's brilliant and she's built her way to diamond almost exclusively on Instagram. So she's fascinating to follow. She's at, at raising Ryan's dot com or at raising Ryan's with an S. So um, Amy Paul and, and um, Bridget Ryan are, they're like best friends now and they, um, they have a similar system. So I kind of talk about like she and her interchangeably with these two, but Bridget Ryan and, and Amy Paul both have this system where they reach out to like, literally they reach out to 40 people a day on Facebook with a 20 second voicemail voice message on the voice message feature and it goes something like this and we've written this out and we're going to send it to you guys so you have the script but hey so and so i hope you're doing great peek at their page before you leave this look at their top like their most recent three or four posts see what's going on in their life it takes you two seconds to do that if they've been on vacation they've been to a, a cards game they've done this they've done that whatever it is reference that say you know it's it's so exciting that your family is growing it looks like life is treating you well love to see your pictures of your trip to florida it looks like you guys had a blast whatever personalize that next you say not sure if you've been following or seeing my posts about plexus have you heard of it i'm loving what it's doing for me with my health and finances is there anything with your health that you're looking to improve or could some extra change in your pocket help you guys out that's it that's all they say. And you literally can speed through. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going through like starting with Z and I'm working my way up the alphabet. Nicole, jump in here if I'm missing anything at any point, okay? Sure, um, I was just going to say really quickly, I, I, like the, I like the way that they preface it in the script because I think that when you send somebody a message randomly that they're not expecting to hear from you, but you end it with a question, I think that they're going to be more likely to respond back to you if you just, instead of you just saying like, hey, let me know if you're ever interested sometime, here's my number, here's my email. If you end it with a question, I think that they're going to be like, okay, well, at least I'm going to write back. If they're not interested, they're going to be like, thanks, but no, you know, thank you, but no, thank you. Because if somebody sent me something, ending in a question, and I didn't respond, I'd feel super rude. You know what I mean? Like, just leaving it out there. But, and again, with that said, you might get crickets, you might not, but I think that ending it with a question is a really good way to go. So, that's all I have. I do too. I think that, the, I mean, that's, that's a big part of this technique is always ending with a question with any of your messages um, because you're just so much more likely to get a response. So don't feel like you guys need to write this down. Like I said, we're going to send you this script, but I encourage you. I mean, if you want to change it up, that's fine. But I think that this works great. Um, it's what I've been using this last week and I've, I've challenged myself to leave 20 messages a day um, on Facebook because they're so quick and they're so easy and I literally can just go boom 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 all the way up the list I it takes me about 20 minutes um, collectively to do the research on those 20 people and then leave those messages. <laughs> so not a difficult thing if you have 20 minutes commit to doing that that's like massive income producing activity um, so Instagram is kind of a different beast um, are you guys are you guys using Instagram or should we stick with Facebook at this point? Okay. I'm gonna kind of stick with Facebook, but if you're using Instagram, I'm really diving into that like hardcore. Um, and I would be happy to share that information um, because I'm challenging myself to 20 to 40 messages on this the Instagram site as well each day. Um, so and it's very simple again, but it's a completely different platform and it's got its entirely own way of doing things. So I'm going to kind of stick with Facebook. So um, 
that is your outreach number one. Then, and they talk about, you know, if you're reaching out to two or three people, you know, maybe five people a week. Um, when we were doing our IPA, it was two people a day. So that was 10 a week if you were working five days a week on Plexus. Um, your, your response rate isn't going to be very high. Um, if you're leaving a hundred messages a week, your, your likelihood of getting responses from that, I mean, is through the roof. This is a numbers game. So it's just saying the word plexus to these people in a way that isn't like, you know, salesy. But I mean, this is getting a little bit of information out there. They're probably seeing your posts. And this is just personally connecting with them and saying, have you heard of it? Is there something I can help you with? So that's message number one. Message number two comes about a week um, later, and this is very strategic as well. So it looks like this. If they respond, let's say they respond and they, they have not heard of Plexus, okay? So you're getting a response, and like I get a lot of people that say, no, I haven't, because I end up with like, have you heard of it? No, I haven't. What is it? Then we say, Plexus is a health and wellness company that has products that target cellular inflammation, gut health, balancing blood, blood sugars, and chronic pain. Insert what it has helped you specifically with, with your health and business. So I've been able to, you know, get off um, prescription medication for my stomach. I've lost 10 pounds, whatever it is for you. Um, and uh, I've been able to, you know, make my car payment or my mortgage payment or whatever it is. So make sure that you're doing something in wellness, something in weight loss, if you have that, and something in um, the business side, how they respond to you from that message is going to tell you how to proceed. If they say something to the effect of, Oh my gosh, you've been able to make your car payment every month. They want business information. Okay. They're talking money. If they say, Oh my gosh, you've lost five, 10, 15 pounds, whatever it is, you've lost so many inches. You're going to go weight loss, you know, Avenue. If they talk about wellness, if they're saying, gosh, I have so many GI issues or I've got season allergies, you're going to be talking more about gut health, health and overall wellness. So that's a really good, because I always feel like, gosh, how do I, how do I start the conversation? Where do I start first? Do I lead with business? Do I lead with products? Like, how do I do it? So I think that that's a really good way to qualify each person and what, what they're hearing from what you're, the snippet you're giving them. Um, so let's say you don't get a response. You're getting crickets from all these messages that you've left. If you're not getting any responses, then we need to tweak. And at this point, I had the two days of this intense messaging and I have not gotten, uh, on Facebook, I have not gotten any responses. So we may need to tweak our messages. I'm not concerned about that. Um, but I do think that finding the right messages is important. But let's say we don't get a response from them. In a week, we say, hey, so-and-so, just wanted to follow up on the message I sent last week. I know you're busy, so am I. I'm dying to tell you more about what I've found with Plexus. You have time on, and you put the day in a time, Thursday at 6 o'clock, uh, to chat for a quick 10 minutes. So that is, you know, is that... Is this phase two? No, this is phase one. Okay. So that's kind of how that goes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go into outreach through Nicole, because that's kind of where we were feeling. Yeah, I, I would probably say not, not at this point. I think that these two are really good to start with. I do too. Um, so that's kind of this first phase of the business. So, um, you're posting consistently on Facebook um, every day, something that is not an infomercial. If you guys were able to get your hands on that six minute video that um, Rhonda Shaw and Bridget Ryan did, I'm not sure if you posted that or not. Um, it was about making your life a reality TV show um, and not it always being an infomercial for Plexus, which I think is really important. Um, you know, finding a way to weave in the, the products, weave in the things to your life rather than it just always being you know, um, something with a, a stock plexus image. So that's something we all know to do, but doing that consistently, then doing these 20, you know, five to 20, I'd say, don't, if you feel overwhelmed with 20, don't, don't do that. Start with five, work your way up to 10, like make it a gradual thing. Um, and we're not, we're not micromanaging. We're not telling you guys, this is what you have to do. This is just what, you know, we're going to try. And if you guys want to try it, it's got proven success with these two girls and I want some of that. So 
<laughs> let's try it. So five to 20 messages a day. Hey, so-and-so, hope you're doing well. So excited your family's growing. Looks like life is treating you well. Not sure if you've been following or seeing my Plexus posts. Have you heard of it? I'm loving what it's doing for me with my, uh, with my health and finances. Is there anything with your health that you're looking to improve or could some extra change in your pocket help you guys out? That's your first message. And what, what, what she said um, that she did, which I liked on her video, is that, you know, it's all, it's all about the balance and it's all about, you know, don't feel like you have to be like, oh my gosh, this is going to take all day. But she would take 20 minutes in the evening and then shut her phone down, put it away, and then wake up the next morning or take it out the next day. And she'd have if, however many answers that she would have. That's when she would open her phone and that was her to-do list. That was her. This, this is constant IPA, income producing activity, constantly. So you're going to, you know, you're reaching out to people, you're doing your daily IPA, and, uh, and that's going to count. I mean, that's going to that's gonna really give you some things to work with as a, and some people to work with, no matter if they're silent or if they're not silent. Because if they're silent, then you keep going through your list and you keep finding those new people to reach out to. Um, but, you know, shut it down at night, and then, and then the next day, open it up, and you'll have some things to work on with however many people responded. Mm-hmm. And you'll get better at that, um, you know, that voice message feature. I know that it's, um, it's a little intimidating for some of us, um, but it, you'll get better and better and better. So just keep doing it. Um, I think that, that this is a really good thing. Um, just, you know, make sure that you are sincere with it. You know, if I know that somebody is, um, you know, really healthy. I've got a couple of brothers that um, I'm friends with from high school and they're both super active and they're surfers. And I'm like, I know you guys are super healthy. And these, these are for the person that is, you know, not healthy that needs to get healthy. And it's for the people that are healthy that want to support their lifestyle, you know? So, I mean, definitely make it for the person. Um, just make it quicker, you know, because they, I used to leave like three one minute messages back to back to back. And I know that they, by the time they listened to the first one and knew it was about Plexus, we're going to listen to the other two. So it's really, was just wasting my time and my energy and really killing that prospect because I was talking too much. So, um, I do think that there's something to it being short and sweet and leaving them, um, not knowing what Plexus is. Because I find myself wanting to say, I've got this new gig with Plexus. It's a health and wellness company, you know, that blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, then they have no reason to get back with me because I've just told them everything. So if I say Plexus, have you heard of it? And they're going to be like, I'm a little bit intrigued. You seem really happy. Like, what, what's this stuff you're taking? So I think creating that curiosity is huge in that first message. What other questions do you guys have? I feel like I've covered it, you know, the, the, concept and we're going to send you the the scripting what do you guys think do you, do you guys feel comfortable like you know i know if you think of it's kind of like saying make a list of 10 versus making a list of 100 like 10 sounds way easier but do you guys think that it's easier to you know if you if if you're given a challenge for 30 days to either reach out to five people or reach out to 20 i mean do you feel like five people would be doable for you or do you feel like you're you know, and everybody's going to be different and have, you know, a different number, different goals on how they want to start this. But is that something that you guys would feel comfortable with doing? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. With doing five a day? Five, five 10, 15, 20. Yeah. Yeah, because I, um, it was a mental struggle doing the two a day for, every, you know, knowing I was doing that every day. Mm -hmm. And so I think five would be good. And I like the idea of um, the short and sweet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot. Because mm -hmm. I was scripting. Like I was writing out word for yep. word, an entire message to each person before I would leave them the message. Oh, yeah. And it was, I mean, that was taking so much brain power. And I'm like, if I can just blast through this shit right. and get this message to them, you know, I mean, it's number one, it's going to make them clue into my posts a lot closer because I've reached out to them and made a personal connection. Mm -hmm. And, you know, number two, they're going to be curious. And if I'm reaching out to them specifically, right. Like and the nice thing when you reach out to someone on a, me on a message, whether they respond or not, they start seeing your news feeds that generates you going into their, into their news feed. If they've haven't been seeing you or haven't been following you, 
And um, I know for me personally, like, because you have that minute, I would try to talk up literally into the 59 second. And at the very yeah. end, it would be like, bleh, bleh, like, it would, and then it would go off. Yeah. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So if it's yeah. 20 seconds, then you don't have to worry about running out of time and then sounding like a crazy person at the end. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not going to say that, like, I mean, I have some that like, there are people that I, you know, I don't know, that I've known from different walks of my life. And so, <clears throat> like my message gets a little bit more wordy just because I'm like, Oh my God, I have not talked to you in like 15 years. What are you doing? You look like you're doing awesome. Your kids are adorable. Like, blah, blah. and then I'm like, okay, stop and just refocus. Um, let me hit really quick too on, um, you know, if you've been doing this for a little while, um, you may be thinking, Oh my gosh, I'm going to run out of people. Where am I going to get more people to add to my list? I don't know if anybody's struggling with that, but, um, so something that I kind of, I was like, oh my gosh, I had an aha moment. And then I realized it's whatever it in Texas does. So whatever. But um, I was going to the people that I really um, liked that I've approached that have either said no thank you or um, haven't responded after numerous attempts. Um, I figure that those people that I really have my eye on, um, they have friends that have the same qualities that they do, most likely. So I've gone through their friend list. I think I've talked about this before. And anybody, if we have 20 friends or more in common, I friend them. But I may have never met them or know them or anything. So I have been really scared of that list because I, I feel like it's kind of a little bit, you know, salesy to go and find friends of friends just to, like, increase my list. But I'm like, you know what, seriously, if we have 20 friends in common, we have got to know each other somehow. So I've started reaching out to that list with um, introducing myself and saying, hi, my name is Ruth. We, you know, we have so many mutual friends. I feel like if we haven't met that somehow we ought to know each other. I hope you're doing great. You have a beautiful family. I'm looking forward to getting to know you through Facebook. Then I will say this script. So that's kind of how I preface those people that I've never met before, just so it's not like I'm trying to pretend I'm friends with them without like introducing myself first. So I think that if, again, you're just, you're fast paced, you're, you're in a hurry, you are snapping, you know, I mean, you're going through your little message, but you put the introduction first, then it's received pretty well. Cause I've had a lot of people, you know, that, um, like right as I friend them, I'll send them a little message that just says, Hey, you know, so happy to be connected with you. We've got so many mutual friends. So I started replacing that little message with this message with about plexus just so they know yeah i do plexus and that's why i friended you but we do have a lot of friends in common so i'd like to get to know you does that make sense mm -hmm. I feel like I'd be yeah. more yeah. upfront than trying to be sneaky about becoming friends with somebody just because i know all their friends mm -hmm. so and i try to do that and there's a feature um when you go to your friend list there's across the top there's like recently added um people who have posted recently there's like all these little tabs and if you click on recent then you can see all the people that you have recently friended like in the last week and so if i go out to somebody like a friend's page and i will friend you know um maybe 75 people from their list that we have 20 or more friends in common with i may only get five or ten that respond and accept my request but I can go back then and see all the ones that did accept my request from that outreach in one spot, which is helpful because once they get lost in my, all my friends, I don't know who's who, like, I don't know how I know them. So that's helpful. So like, you know, once a week you can go back to that. If you're, if you're consistently doing that, like maybe shoot to do, you know, 10 new ads a week or something. I don't know, whatever it is. I'm really big into just doing a lot of people a little bit right now so does that make sense yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. do you guys have any any questions or any tips that you feel like it might make it easier for you or do you like the way that it's kind of that it's kind of set up um, just, go ahead no i was just gonna say just to say i was throw something out there that's um, this worked for me a couple times last week is I had posted an article about allergies and gut health. It was not a plexus article, it was just an article that I found. And as I've been out and about just doing my normal errands, I've run into a couple people who made comments like, oh, I'm starting to struggle with allergies. And I've just mentioned to them, hey, I the correlation between gut health and allergies. And they said, you know, I just posted this article on Facebook, my friend, you, and you can check it out. And that was, for me, a good, easy opening because allergies is one of the things that I've really been helped with with Lexus. So yeah, by posting those timely articles, it gives people a reason to want to go back and check out my page. I feel like. That's a great idea. I totally yeah. agree. 
I love that, Dana. Anytime you can post an article that supports, you know, the use of supplementation to heal yeah. the gut, like without ever saying plexus, like it just right. supports what we're doing, which I think like is so trying, powerful. Yeah. Like trying to find something that's like WebMD or something yeah. that people will look at and say, hey, I, I recognize that. And it's not right. That. You know who posts really good articles if you're not friends with her yet? Uh, Jen Weatherman. She always has really, really good articles. Um, but on Facebook, I think it's Jen Weatherman, and then it's a dash, and then it says, like, BFL Champ to Ambassador. Is that, does that sound right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, Body for Life Champ. So Jen Weatherman dash BFL Champ to Ambassador. And she's really, really, that's her, that's her, um, her public page for, like, health and wellness, and she has really, really good articles that, uh, are really good oh, reputable yeah credible sources yeah mm -hmm. carly were you going to say something well i was just going to say that um whether we talk about it outside of this call or not i would love to know more about the instagram side because that has been one of my goals and i've been trying to post um once a day on there as well um well once or twice a day on there as well so, so I've been, i thought that was intriguing what they were saying about the different hashtags. I didn't even know how to see messages on it. And some random person had actually sent me a message a couple weeks ago. She had seen one of my Plexus posts and was asking information. Stupid me just randomly came across that I had a message. And so now she hasn't responded back to me because I didn't jump on it. It had been like two weeks. So I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> Carly, did you happen to watch Paige, um, Paige Scooty on our team? She did an Instagram team call. Um, if you didn't get to watch it, I'll tag you on it after this. Call. Um, I watched part of it. I didn't watch okay. all of it. So is, do it I need was, to go back? I was meaning more the part where Ruth was saying, like, okay, what, yeah, how they were talking about it in the video. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, basically... It, it's such a multi-layered thing. I think that Paige's video is a really good thing to start with because n knowing how to use those hashtags, like, mm -hmm. and if you, if you friend or, um, follow Bridget Ryan raising mm -hmm. at raising Ryan's.com or whatever, I keep saying .com, but, um, you will see how she uses it and mm -hmm. study the hashtags that she uses. So she's yeah. always trending hashtags but she uses them within her post. Um, and then like Paige was saying that when you comment, we can have an offline conversation because okay, sure. like, really utilizing all 30 of your hashtags and hashtagging maybe even things that don't go with that particular post, but people that you want to see that post. Yeah. If you make a health post, you know, or something, um, you know, you might want to tag or do a hashtag orange theory fitness. Um, you know, Gold's Gym, you know, whatever the big gyms are there. Like if you want people that are, you know, if it's a, if it's a bodybuilding, you know, testimony or something and you want people like that to see it. Um, like it's so funny, but I've been posting a lot about the stomach stuff that I've d been through. And so like, <laughs> I have like constipation support that's following me now. I have IBS um, support group. I have um, colon support group. Like literally I have like the most hilarious people following me now, but I mean, I'm getting the right people, you know, like they're yep. seeing this stuff. And so like I did a post about my grandpa and I did, I hashtagged like grandpa's girl. I went and looked to see, cause when you use your hashtags, you can yeah. see how many people are using them. So yep. you don't want the ones that are like in the way, way high millions, but like 500 to a million tags of that is where you kind of want to be because then it'll get right. seen people are searching hashtags. So searching hashtags, using hashtags, all that stuff's really, really important to know as the foundation. And then once you do that, people are going to be liking your posts and following you based on those hashtags. And so then what Bridget Ryan is saying is to go out and just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste all these like messages to people through Instagram. And it's a very similar message only because you can't leave a voice message. You're writing it out and it's five lines and it's, hi, my name is Bridget Ryan or, you know, Ruth Wheat or whatever. Thanks so much for the follow. Um, I love your page, you know, I'm super excited to get to know you. Have you heard of Plexus? Or she says, I'm, I'm really passionate about being a homeschooling mom. So whatever it is that you are, and I'm also really passionate about um, a line of plant-based supplements or, or just Plexus. Have you heard of it? And that's how she ends it. And she gets so many responses of people like coming back to her. And so she's built her business on Instagram that way. 
That is amazing. Um, it really is fascinating. Yeah. I have, like I said, I've been, I dived into it the last couple of weeks and I'm just, I'm just now starting to get some good traction with it. Cause mm -hmm. I had a lot of people that started following me cause I was hashtagging wrong. I was using like network marketing and Plexus and I'm like, well, if I do that, then I'm going to get all of our people and all of Rodan right. and Fields and Tara and right. I don't, that's not who I want. I'm not going to be able to turn that into business. Yeah. So it's just a matter of using all that correctly. Yeah. Karen Ritchie actually just started, um, wherever, whatever area she's in, she's been hashtagging mm -hmm. that area and she's yeah. been getting some, um, good follows with that too. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Oh. That's exactly right. Like if you, if you take a picture and you post it from your kid's school, hashtag your kid's school and the school district and the park that's nearby, like all it's so, you know, you just have to like get in that mindset Yeah. of hashtagging appropriately. Like, you know, I don't know, like we're going to go boating this weekend and, and like, look at the trending hashtags for that. Like I'm on a boat lake life you know, <laughs> with my fam, like all these things, you know, like you can search those, anything that makes sense and try to use after 30, but try to yep. weave them to your message as much as you can. And then they use the overflow ends in a comment. So they're hidden because people are turned off by a bunch of hashtags. So anyway, yeah. it's really interesting. I would love to talk to you more about it. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Anybody else have any questions? I know we have like three minutes and 30 seconds left, but this is some good info. I, I'm really excited about this. I think that, I mean, if you, if this is something that works really well for you and you feel like you love it, I mean, 30 days is still a long time for this to be a challenge, but it's, it's a great, I mean, I think it's a really great length of time to see if this is something that you're going to remain comfortable with because once you, I would even say after a couple of days, once you're doing this, you're going to become so probably hopefully so comfortable with sending these messages out that if this doesn't if you don't feel like this is something you want to continue on I think it's going to be engraved up in here where you're going to do it on a daily basis way down the road it's going to become really naturally and easy for yep. you and easier for you to engage people that you might not necessarily talk to on a daily basis yeah um there was one other thing I was going to say and I forgot um We'll, we'll put the script, uh, not the script, you know, this, this just, just the little sample and feel free to, I mean, feel free to tweak. If it doesn't sound like you make it sound like you, but this is what's going to keep it short, sweet, and simple. Um, so we'll put that after I post the team call, I'll put that underneath in the comments so that you can see it. And we'll do outreach one is that first initial message. And then outreach two, we have one if they do respond and then another one if they don't respond on how to, on how to engage that and use that. Oh, I was just going to say that um, it's great. I think that we're doing this right at the end of September too, for like the second half of the month, because I'm, I'm hoping that for all of us, we can hit the September incentive. I mean, that would be huge for, think about how mm -hmm. our team would, would grow insanely if we all added three people mm -hmm. to, the, to the team. And then we all, you know, added three customers. Like think about what that would do for our businesses, just that alone. Mm -hmm. And then getting the bonus on top of it. So I think it's really timely that we're, we're implementing something like this right now um, and laying a really good foundation for when the resolutioners hit in, February, in January. So I'm really excited. I think this is going to keep our momentum going. And is there a way that you guys, I know with the daily IPA chat that we were doing, it's even though we're, we would respond done and, you know, is there a way that you feel like would be a, all of us to be accountable or would you guys rather be like, you know, want to fly free and then we'll just depend on each other at the end, you know, like after the 30 days, do you guys want to do like a daily accountable or is that too much as you know, we definitely don't want to overwhelm. I think everybody could set their own personal goals and, yeah. you know, maybe share how many you're, you're wanting to be accountable to, you know, reach out to each day. And then whenever that has been done, hit like reply done. I mean, it doesn't have to be 20. It could be, you want to do five, you know, does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. So maybe let's start an IPA chat um, with everybody here that wants to do it. And then our first response should just be what our, our personal goal is yep. today. And if anybody on your team that was not on the call tonight, tag them, you know, after we record this team call and, and post it, tag them in it just to make sure that they're aware of what's going on. Um, I know we have less than one minute. So just in case we get cut off, I just wanted to say that. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks guys. Good, guys. Anybody else? Good. Nope. Good All right. Have a good Sunday evening. All right.
All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Ruth. Bye. Bye. Bye.